Okay, the source of our learning. There should be a protection in the first line for anyone that needs. Okay, today we start Kuf Dalad. We're going to start about 12 lines down, it looks like. Kufa, the first word on the line. Kufa means we're going to go back to explain something that we said before. Kufa, let's return to the text. Amar Rabbalazar, Amar Rabbaisha. Rabbalazar says the name of Rabbaisha. We were talking about Abdullah before. Rabbalazar is Rabbalazar ben Fadas, and Rabbaisha is an earlier Amar of student of Rabbi, Rabbi and Rabbaisha. Students of Rabbi. Rabbalazar says in his name, he says that Hapaychas, someone that's going, a minimalist, in reciting Abdullah, he shortens his Abdullahs. Liyafchis Mishalish. He shouldn't say less than three separations. It means we say it separates between um, uh, light and darkness. You, you can only, um, you, you shouldn't have less than three of those. But myself and what you want, want to add separations, Le Yosef al Sheva don't have more than seven. We said before that it probably means three or seven. That's what we would like to do. May speak. We have a question. It says, Aimer Abdullah said at the conclusion of Shabbos, at the conclusion of Yom Tov, at the conclusion of Yom Kippur, and when Shabbos, When Shabbos goes into Yom Tov, you also say uh, Abdallah. And when Yom Tov goes into Cholamayid, you also say Abdallah. But you don't say it after, after Yom Tov going into Shabbos. You don't say Abdallah there. We don't have that this year. This year we have the other way. What about the last day? The last day uh-huh. Well, when that does happen, that's when we make a air of Tapshila. Those are the air of Tapshila holidays where we prepare on Yom Tov for Shabbos, but you don't, but you don't, um, you don't say Havdal after that. Okay. Haragil Oimer Harbe, someone that's a professional, someone that's used to this, he says a lot. Mishen Haragil Oimer Achas. Someone that's not used to saying these brachas, so he just cuts it down. He only says one. This is a question on Rabbi Lazar Amarabashia. Because Rabbi Lazar Amarabashia says that you can never say less than three. And here it says, yeah, someone that's not such a professional is not used to saying the, uh, the, the Abdullah. So he says one. The Gemara says, it's not a problem. There's other opinions. And this is following those other opinions. You see, Havdalah is a praise of Hashem. We're praising Hashem for separating, making these separations. Gemara Brachas has a discussion where you put it. Where, and when you daven, where do you put the Havdalah? Uh, it says you put it in Das. Gemara says, the name Das of Dalaminayim. You don't have any uh, knowledge in how do you make distinctions. In other words, comparisons are easy. <laughs> But then they say, how is it not comparable? That's the, that takes the dust. Anyway, we're, the, the, the distinctions here are, are either three or seven. And now we have one, another opinion that Hashem did only, that we praise Hashem for just for one, and that's enough. Gemara says, Tanayi, all these different opinions. Dhamma Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says, Benan shal kadeshim aymar achas. The, the, I, I'm not sure if Nun Shal Kedoshim means the son of the Holy Ones, or it means like a bar Kedoshim, like a bar mitzvah. It doesn't mean the son of him. Maybe it means like an el- someone that's eligible, that's um, that's fit, a, a holy person, right? Although the commentators say that he's talking about his father as well. He says that the Nun Shal Kedoshim, we'll see in a minute who he is, he says that you just say one Havdalah. However, everyone argues on him, and they say three. Manu Who is 
who are maybe Benan, um, who are the Benan Shalkadeshim, Rabbi Nachem Bar Simai. It's Rabbi Nachem Bar Simai. But my Karli Benan Shalkadeshim, why did they, why did they uh, call him Benan Shalkadeshim? Like, what's what's so holy about him? The lay stackle but sir said this is a, he didn't look at the image of the coins. Because we have different um, different praises that we use for Tanaim. Rabbeinu Akadesh. He was very holy. He didn't look at uh, below his belt. Or he didn't put his hands below his belt. Um, here we have Benat Shal Kadeshim. He didn't look at the coins. Uh, the Steinzel suggests that what's the problem with the coins is that they would have gods on the, on the images. Yeah. Right. Right. He shows over there in case uh, you want to see what Rabbanasam Bar Simai wasn't looking at. He shows you some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Leostaka Batsir said this is it. Yeah, the, I guess what we have um, similar, they, we, there's a tradition that uh, from the British of the playing cards have a tumma on them. And every card that says that's another tumma that's worse than the next. So, um, so you're not supposed to look at the playing cards. So that would be a, a modern financial relation. <laughs> It, it could be that the cards actually had something more on them than they just have just a diamond or a spade. Okay. Shalach lei Rav Shmuel Bar Idi. Rav Shmuel Bar Idi sent Hananya achi yoy merachas. Hananya, my brother, he says one. He just says one Abdallah. But let's talk as a cover say, the Gemara says that Allah is not like him. Okay. I'm Rabbi Shua ben Levi. Shua ben Levi is probably the son of Levi, right? Levi, we had uh, Levi that we know is the, um, the student of Rabbi, friend of Rav. Yeah, the Gemara tells us he was a, a master of Agadatha. Hamavdil tzarech shiyemer men avdala samur spatera. In Avdala, you have to say the Havdalas that are said in the Torah. In other words, wherever it says in the Torah Hamavdil, you have to use a concordance. And you look up anywhere where it says Hamavdil, or Lahavdil, or Vaavdil. Um, so then those are the choices that you use to say in Havdalah. In other words, we have three or seven items that we're separating. You, should, you, you look it up in the Torah, and that's where you get it from. The Gemara says, Mesri, one second. We have a question. Say the Ravdala say, how do you say Abdala? Oimer, you say Ham Abdul Min Kaidish Lakal. Okay. Ham Abdul Min Kaidish Lakal. It separates between the holy and the weekday or the mundane. Now, this is so far it's no problem because we have a Pasuk that says La Abdul Bain Akaidish Ubain uh doesn't say. Well La Abdul Bain Akaidish Bain Akal bin Atami Bain Athar. Yeah, we have a Pasuk that says that. Bein or This is this is an easy one, right? By Abdullah the Kim Bein or Bein Achishach. Okay, so so far no problem. Bein Yisrael Amim, also no problem between the Jewish people nation. By Abdullah Eschem, right? I'll separate you. Bein Yehi Mashvil Shishis Mei Amaisa. I don't know where it says by Abdullah about that. You know, it says that uh, he sanctified it, uh, um, right? But the, I don't know where it says uh, uh, Abdullah. We'll see in the Gemara what's what's going on with this one. But bein tami latar, okay, pure and uh, between uh, impure and pure that we have lahavdil bein tami like the passage that we quoted before. Bein ayom lacharava between the sea and the dry land. This is going to be create a problem because it doesn't say in the Torah that he separated between the sea and the dry land. Bein mayim alyanim lamayim tachtainim. This is a good one. <laughs> so he separated between the waters, the higher waters and the lower waters. What does it say? What's the passage? Um, doesn't say that. Maybe Okay. 
And how do you, how do you conclude the Havdalah? You say, Baruch Hata Hashem, Seder Bereshis, to arrange the creation with these separations. Right. and my mother say, Yaitzer Bereshis. Yaitzer Bereshis. Who, cre- who formed the, in the in the in the beginning? Rabbi Yisib, Rabbi Yehuda, Imer Chaysim, Kadosh Yisrael. Rabbi Yisib, Rabbi Yehuda says, "Who sanctified the Jewish people?" That's interesting. Let's go a little further before we discuss that. The Misa. Now, if it's correct, what Rabbi Shoban Levi says that you have to take Havdalas that are said in the Torah, Habeni Yam Lecharava, like Siva Be Havdala. It doesn't say Bene Yam Lacharava. It doesn't say between the sea and the dry land. Where did you get that one from? The Gemara answer is Sami Mikan Bene Yam Lacharava. Erase that one. You have to edit that one out. Okay. Yihachi Bene Yemashvil Shishmi Amai Sanami. What about between the seventh day and the sixth days uh, of activity? It doesn't say over there. Havdalah. It's, 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 it, it is separate, but the word Havdalah is not in the Torah. The Gemara says, Men Chasimo. That's a different story. We're mentioning that so because before you conclude the bracha, you have to have your concluding uh, statement. So you introduce it first. So you're supposed to introduce the conclusion before you say, Baruch Hashem, whatever you're concluding. Let's say um, an easy one would be, Baruch um, Hashem. Right, that's how it concludes, right? So, right before we do that, we say, uh, So the Gemara says, one second, if you take that one away and you're not going to count it because it's not in the Torah, you're just going to use it for the chasima. So then, then you don't have seven. You only have six. The Gemara says, "Amri Kainim Levim Siyam Tre Milinenu Kainim Levim Siyam Marechli Two." Who divides between the Kainim and the Levim, and, and between the Levim and Yisraelim? In Levim, be Yisraelim, the Ksiv Beisi Hivdal Hashem is Shevet Alevi. That that we have a pasuk for. This is in the Varim, and Ben Kainim and Levim, who separates between the Kainim and the Levim, the Ksiv Bnei Amram, Aaron, Umayshe, by Yabdal Aaron Lakdishay. And Aaron was separated. So we have a in the Torah, in the Yaman, that there's a separation between Kayanim and, and Labiyam. Tysus points out over here that we had different opinions what the Chasima was. If the Chasima is Makadash Yisro, don't you think it would be better? To conclude with Ben Kayanim Levim Yisraelim, why do we conclude with with Me'en uh, with, uh, the, with the Men Chasima? We say what was the Men Chasima? Ben Yehim Ashvi L'Sheish Simei Amaisa. That odd. Yes, we had to get rid of Ben Yehim Ashvi L'Sheish Simei Amaisa because it's not in the Torah. It doesn't say Ba'avdal in the Torah, so we threw it in as the Chasim. But if you if the conclusion is Makadash Yisrael, then why don't you say Ben Kainim Levim Yisraelim? So Taisus answers that there's a problem with saying that because if I say Makadash Yisrael, why did I say Hamavdol Ben Ben Kainim Levim Yisraelim? Because why did I mention Yisraelim? Because Yisraelim. Is the starting point where everyone else is holier. The Leviim are holier and the Kayanim are holier than that. So I can't conclude Makadish Yisrael after that, I, I, unless I would say Makadish Kayanim. The Yisraelim are not the holy one in that, in that uh, it's the Kayanim that, so I should have said Makadish Kayanim. I don't say Makadish Kayanim. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. So what do I say? I say if I say Makadish Yisrael, then I, how am I Makadish Yisrael with the mitzvahs? So for that I say, Binyay Meshvil, the Sheshish Meyam Maisa. That's the mitzvah of Shabbos. Okay. Shekidashanu HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Mitzvaisa V'Nasan Lanu Esa Shabbos. That's the Mekadosh Yisrael. Very nice. Okay. 
Mechta Meichatim. How do we conclude the bracha of Abdallah? Rav Mekadosh Yisrael. Shmuel Amar Amad Lav Mekadosh Lachal. Rav says that you say Mekadosh Yisrael. And that was the opinion before of who said that. Rabbi Yisib Rabbi Yehuda. Shmuel says you say Hamavdal Ben Kodesh Lachal. Was that opinion mentioned before? No. Layata la Abaya vitem Rabbi Yisib Ahad the Rav. Abaya and some say Rabbi Yisib cursed those that do like Rav. That say Mekadosh Yisrael. This is very surprising. And Baruch Hashem, I, I used the Steins up this morning. I never would have known this Peshat. Mama, she gave us such a chiddush over here. He said at that time, the Christians had just changed Shabbos to Sunday. So if you said Mekadosh Yisrael on, on Mekadosh Shabbos, it looked like it was a copy of the Kiddush of Mekadosh Shabbos on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the Friday night. So, to avoid that, we didn't want to say, we specifically wanted to say Hamavdul um, ben Kodesh Lachal to emphasize that Sunday is not Shabbos. You follow? You hear this, Pshant? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, interesting. At least the joke that in, um, in Brisk, you know, they have a lot of Chumras. So, it's in Brisk, they don't, they don't do Malachas on Sunday. <laughs> it's the Cheshesh for Yashka Shita. <laughs> Anyway, okay. Um, Tana Mishmei the Rabbi Shua ben Hanani was taught in the name of Rabbi Shua ben Hanani. That's the early Rabbi Shua, the friend of Rabbi Eliezer, the student of Rabbi Yechon and Zaka. Kol ha-chesim mekadash Yisrael v'amav da mekadash l'chol marichon l'yom of v'shnaisam. That if you're going to satisfy all opinions, then you'll have a long life. What is that? Oh, Kalmar. Yeah, Kalmar. So look at what happens over here. But let's still just kind of say, but Allah is not like him. You shouldn't say it. Why? The Rashbam and Taisvis tell us because ain't chesmin bishtayim. You can't have two conclusions. You can only have one conclusion. And the Rashbam says that we pass him like Shmuel. We just turned the page, uh, we're on 104. The Rashbam says that we pass him like Shmuel. Now, normally when there's a Machlekes Rav and Shmuel, if it's monetary matters, we pass him like Shmuel. If it's halachic matters, we pass him like Rav. But over here, because Rav's view got a curse on it, so we pass him like Shmuel. We say, Mavdol bin Kodesh Lachal. Okay. Ula. <laughs> Ula Ikla Le Pompadisa. Remember, Ula was a traveler. So he goes, comes from Eretz Yisrael and he brings hal- a halachas from Eretz Yisrael. He comes to Babel, comes to Pompadisa. Amale Rav Yehuda Le Rav Yitzchak Brei. Rav Yehuda was the founder of the yeshiva in Pompadisa. Rav Yehuda is a, is a student of Rav, he's a student of Shmuel. And um, I guess after Shmuel passed away or after Nardoi was destroyed. He went to Pompadisi, started the yeshiva. His son, Rabbi Yitzchak, uh, he, said, he tells to him, Zil amti peri, Go bring to Ula a basket of fruits. Did we have before that Ula ate the dates and he had stomach pains? And he said, in Bavel, did not Isaac Batayra, they have all of these fruits. It's like, it just grows on the tree, you get a full meal. And then that night he had the pains and he said, look at how amazing these people in Babel are. They eat these fruits, they eat this poison and they still study Torah. It was the dates. I think it was Ula. Anyway, whatever the case is, sends him a, a, a Rabbi Yehuda tells Rabbi Yitzchuk, go bring Ula a basket of fruits and see how he makes Abdullah. Lo yazal, Rabbi Yitzchuk doesn't go. Shadalei <laughs> Abaya. He sends Abaya to go instead of him. Kiyasa Abaya, Abaya comes back. Amalei, Hechi Amar. What did he say? How did he say Abdullah? Amalei, Abaya says, he said that Ula said, Baruch Amadu Mikadosh Lachal, Amar, Vesulai. That's it. He said, Baruch Amadu Mikadosh Lachal. Yeah. Um, is that the full story? Paisus on the next page says that really he said much more. 
but he didn't conclude with the Baruch Hashem. Anyway, we'll see him soon. But anyway, that's what he said. So Rabbi Yitzchak comes back to his father. His father says, what did Ula say? He says the truth. He says, I didn't actually go. However, I sent a buyer. He said that this is what he says. Your arrogance and your pride caused that the halacha will not be said over in your name. Yeah, apparently that's the way that they would study. Everything was done orally. So if you were the one that said it over, you got it uh, attached to yeah, that was the big deal. If someone's halacha was said out, if someone's halacha was recited, well, he's, his father's saying that it was because you were too arrogant. Social distancing. <laughs> but it was, um, someone, I, I just had a guest at my house and he told me that, um, yeah, I guess, I guess, keep it up, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do everything he says. Keep it up would mean that you, yes, you don't listen. It means that you can't contradict and you have to serve. You have to serve him food. You know, you stand up when he comes in and you serve him food and all of that. But here he's saying, go find out what the, this wasn't the service of this. Just go, you know. Actually, I'm not so sure if that's accurate because the special haterim about going to yeshiva that your father doesn't want you to or to marry someone that your father doesn't a special haterim in those cases that you're allowed to. So why do you have to look? I mean, it's nothing to do with the, the serving the father. What is that for that? So maybe, maybe that's a good question. It's a good question. Why didn't he go? Because of Kibadav. Okay. Uh, oh. 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 Uh -huh. I got someone else to go. Yeah, we didn't dis we didn't discuss what we didn't discuss what you do if you what Havdallah allows you to do. I mean over here there was a slight reference. To if he make Abdullah, then he's going to be able to eat the fruits. That's a slight reference to that. I mean, bring him a basket of fruits and see what he's always going to say uh, Abdullah. Why? Because he can't eat until he does says Abdullah. Um, what happens for people that don't have someone to say Abdullah for them? Do they, they have to fast? I don't know. They so. <coughs> have to fast. You say, you say Baruch Abdul, that's for sure. You say Baruch Abdul, and what about? Um, what about eating? Uh, it's, it talks about it in Shulchan uh, <laughs> I don't think they have to fast. Okay, Meisvei, you come as a question. Kol brachas kulan peseach bebarach bechesim bebarach. All brachas. We're going to get a rule in here. All brachas start with the word barach, and they conclude with the phrase baruch atah Hashem. Chutz. With the exception of, there's probably more exceptions than that, than you know. The berachas a mitzvahs, berachas a mitzvah, like al netilas to love or something. Lo niach tefillin starts with barach, but it doesn't conclude with an. We don't say barach Hashem al kinam al achilam. Hashem al shanu seitz and shanu lo niach tefillin. Barach Hashem. Maybe I'm niach tefillin. Hashem puts on some mask. Berachas a peiris, right? Uh, blessings on food or fruit. Yeah. Okay, this is the, the one, any consecutive bracha. This is very important. 
brachas that we say, let's say, for example, Shemun Esri. We say, Ata Kadesh, Vashim Chakad, Baruch Atah Hashem, Akel HaKadosh. Ata Chaynen. Why didn't we start Ata Chaynen and Ata Kadesh with Baruch Atah Hashem, Alakinu Melech HaElam, Ata Kadesh, Vashim Baruch Atah Hashem, Akel HaKadosh. Baruch Atah Hashem, Alakinu Melech HaElam, Ata Chaynen Adam Das. Baruch Atah Hashem, Chaynen Adam. Right? Why don't we say, uh, start with the Baruch? The answer is, it's called the bracha smuch lechaverta. It's a consecutive bracha, one after another. So the last conclusion, baruch atah Hashem, akel is sort of like an opening for atachainen. We just said a baruch atah Hashem, so it just it continues. You don't have to you don't have to start it off with a new baruch atah Hashem. Follow? It's called the bracha smuch lechaverta. Doesn't have to be the last one. Those brachas, um, the morning brachas, are too short to have a chasima. We'll see. We'll see shortly. Shortly. But, um, okay. Ubracha achreina sheba kriyashma. And here's another exception. Ubracha achreina sheba kriyashma doesn't start off with. The Yats of Enochim doesn't start off with the Bracha, even though it finishes with Gal Yisrael. Some of them have a, a, a conclusion, some of them have an opening, but the, in these exceptions, they don't have both. I don't know where the end of Atayi Ba'amitiv is. <laughs> the last Bracha of... of um, of benching. Where do you say Amen? Most people say by Yechasreinu, right? They say Amen. I don't think that's the, the opinion. I didn't just look this up. I, I think the Alter Rebbe from our city says when I, the Neymar Amen finishes at the end, that's the Amen. Yeah, so whatever the case is, it doesn't conclude. If it would conclude, it would be clearer. It doesn't conclude. It just says, Baruch Hashem, Somewhere in there we say Hateva Metiv, right? Who hated who mated? That's Hateva Metiv. And then it just, where does it end? So, anyway, whatever the case is, it ends somewhere, but it doesn't continue. The Gemara now says, Kasha Ula. This is a question on Ula. Why? Because Ula didn't conclude his bracha with Baruch Hashem. He should have concluded the Havdalah with. Baruch Atah Hashem, Amavdo Min Kedesh Lachal. He didn't do that. He just said that. Baruch Atah Hashem, Lekinu Malachel, Amavdo Min Kedesh Lachal. Maybe he said Ben Yisrael Am and Ben Yisrael Shes Ma'ase. Maybe he said that, but he didn't conclude. So Amalachula, we're going to get with this huge discussions over here. Let's conclude with what the Gemara says. We'll go back to these places. Amalachula, Ula says, Hanami Kibirch Samitzus Dami. It's comparable to a Birch Samitzus. Birch Samitz is my time. Uh, what's the reason why you don't say um, a conclusion on a Birch Samitz? You don't say Al Natila Salud and then Baruch Hashem, something about Misham the Haidahi, because it's a praise of Hashem. So Hanami Haidahi, this is also a praise of Hashem. So it's enough just to have a Psicha. What about the Kiddush? Rashbam says, because over there you have to say praises of Shabbos. What about Yetzir Ar? Over there there's interruptions in the middle with, with supplications. Let me say that in Yetzir. Let me say that in Abbasayla. Okay. Okay, let's go to some Tosfos in over here. Very interesting. Um, we'll start with Tosfos Kala Brachas. Tosfos first asks, "How come Alekai Neshama doesn't start with the Baruch Hashem? Baruch Hashem Alekai Nemalachelam Alekai Neshama Why don't we do that? You're gonna so you're, you're gonna try to answer that one second. What's the problem? I finish it. I start it after I finish Ashi So I say, um, "How does Ashi finish?" 
So it's no, what's the problem? He says, no, that's not a good answer because that's the way you do it today. But that's not the way it was instituted. It was instituted that when you wake up, you say, when you go to the bathroom, you say, we put it all in a seder, but but that wasn't the original uh, institution of this. So what does he say? He says, these aren't brachas, these are really shvach and tefillah. He has another question. What about Achle Nivra Ha'ilam? We finish, it's apparently Taisus would finish Achle Nivra Ha'ilam here after Kriyashma in the morning in the little um, in Karbanas. He would probably finish it, Baruch HaTah Hashem, Makadosh Shmei Barab. We say Baruch Makadosh Shmei Barab, right? We don't say Baruch HaTah Hashem. Baruch HaMakadosh Shmei Barab. We don't say Baruch HaTah Hashem. Apparently he would. And he wants to know, why doesn't it start with the Baruch HaTah Hashem? Okay. Taisus now asks, what about um, after the Megillah? Akel HaNifrelam HaYisrael Mikot Tzareim Akel HaMashiach. Right. Right. We're looking for. Um, we want to keep the rule, and we have explanation. We have an explanation for each exception. Um, at a certain point, if the explanations aren't going to fit, we're going to have to recreate the rule. Tesis asks now, what about Bernafashis? Bernafashis Rabbis of Hussainan, Al Kamasha Brussel Aksan of Shalfai. He says in Yushalmi they would conclude Baracha Tashem Tayelam instead of Baracha Elam. So it actually has a conclusion. Okay, the next Taisa is Chutz. This is an unbelievable Taisa, by the way. It's just uh, amazing what Taisa does. Yeah. He goes through, um, he starts off with Aftoya. Surka Leilam, Barachat Hashem, and Kinema from Surka Lam, Tadak Machaladeris. He says, What about, um, he says in the old Machsayrim, Taisa says, if there was a separation by the word, Neaman, the song is so non halachic <laughs> because when you pause there, it sounds like you're supposed to say amen, right? That's what it sounds like. And and actually, traditionally in the old prints, there was over there. A, 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 a pause. There was a break in the printing. There was no printing by places, but apparently they like skipped the line or something, and they started nema natahu. And he says that's not a bracha. It's not a chasima. It's all one bracha. Kula bracha achasi. You're not supposed to stop over there. Why is there a break in the machsa? He says that's because they used to add in phrases over there. That was a place where they could add in different phrases. Okay, and he quotes Masech the Seifrim that they would do that. He says, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. He says that we say the Haftaris is seven brachas. The guy that gets the Haftaris says seven brachas. Where do you get seven brachas from? It's only four brachas. By that time. It says like this. Well, he just got an aliyah. So that's one and two. He says a bracha before the Haftaris. That's three. And then he says four brachas after the Haftaris. So the Haftaris is supposed to be seven brachas corresponding to the seven aliyahs. Interesting okay. point, right? Well, yeah, but you say mafter, so... The mafter is the not the seven. The mafter, mafter is the eighth. That's my point. So there's so seven alias, and then, mafter, and then there's... The mafter, the mafter is the part of the haftarah. Right. Now he goes to Sheva Brachas. Sheva Brachas? Sheva Brachas is, is, is very confusing because some of them start with the bracha, some of them don't start with the bracha. It's very confusing. So he gives us a little explanation. Shakal Baruch doesn't conclude with the bracha, Baruch Hashem, something. He says, 
that's an independent bracha. That actually could have been said. It says everything was created for Hashem's uh, honor. That could have been said just on the gathering. That's the gathering. Um, Yitzhar Adam. Yitzhar Adam. Really, you don't have to say Yitzhar Adam because you're about to say Asher Yitzhar Adam B'Talmai. Right? That's the bracha right afterwards. What do you say Yitzhar Adam first? Well, we want to mention that there's two creations. What is this two two Does that mean that uh, man was created first and then afterwards? Uh, yeah, maybe not such a... What about Asher Bara, the big bracha? He says that you say independently, even if there's no, even if there's no panim chadashas. Usually by Sheva brachas, you need to have a panim chadashas and someone that wasn't at the wedding. But if you don't have a panim chadashas, then you only say the last bracha. So because that bracha is an independent bracha, it starts with the baruch and ends with the baruch. That's what Taisu says. Then he quotes Rabbi Natam. He says, Rabbi Natam says, what are you worried about? Yeah, with Yetzir Adam. He says, those are small brachas. Short brachas never finish. That's like brachas of Paris. Okay. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Taisu then says, what about brachas of so he says, is that, I have a safe trip. He says, is that a, a, um, a, uh, a separate bracha? Is that one bracha? He says, Taisu says that, it's, that it seems to be one bracha. Because I also would say, Baruch Hashem, Arefna. We don't hold like that. We say, we hold that as three brothers. We say amen. And Shulchan Aruch says that if you say viharevna, then it's a continuation. But if you say harevna, then it's a separation. What do we say? We say harevna. Okay. Yehalalucha um, after halal. Halal starts with the bracha. Baruch Hashem Malkinim and it concludes. What's a what's a conclusion? Yeah, look at it finish as well. right. But the halucha doesn't start with the bracha. What about um oh it says Yero Ineno? That's interesting. In my what about Yishtabach? Yishtabach doesn't start with the bracha. So for these he answers that all of these are a continuation of. Yishtabach doesn't start with the bracha because it's a, a conclusion of Baruch She'amar. That's why it's, you know, he says, Nira, that you should not interrupt between Baruch She'amar and, and Yishtabach with any other prayers other than those, any uh, other than those that are what it says. No, actually, Baruch She'amar, in the middle of Baruch She'amar, it's... <laughs> We have a bunch of Baruch Shama, Baruch Baruch Baruch, but then it, and then it says Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech Ha'Elam. In the in the center of it, there is an opening bracha, and it concludes Baruch Ata Hashem Melech Melavatesh Bahais Melech Melavatesh Bahais, and and that's the conclusion. So it has an opening and a conclusion. It has a preference, pre 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 uh, um, some things before that. But um, but anyway, it has an opening conclusion. That conclusion is really a, a consecutive, makes Yishtabach consecutive. And the same thing is with Kriyashma. Kriyashma with Yaitzer, now he's saying differently than what he said before. How does he say this? I don't know. Um, he gets into the Seder a little bit over here. He says, what about the Halal on Pesach? where you didn't start with the bracha, you said the end of the halal afterwards. He says, don't worry about that. He says, maybe you said the halal in shul, you were already yaitze halal. I don't know what that does for the bracha, I'm not sure. Um, Asher Ga'alano, he talks about, it starts with the bracha and ends with the bracha. Right? After Magid, Asher Ga'alano. Okay. In benching, we have the same thing. We have Naida is a is a follow of um, Hazanah Sakal. 
and Rachim is a is a is following alert to Muslim. So also these are all consecutive brachas. Okay, let's leave it over here. We went through the hills.